What is up, my veggies? My name is VTR, and welcome back to yet again another reaction, sorry, review. And I know it's been a while. This movie's already on Blu-ray as well, but I'm finally getting around to reviewing it. A Quiet Place Part 2. Sweet Celestia, this took me so long to get around to review. Don't know why I saw it shortly after I saw Spiral. Cause it came out not long after Spiral did. And I even have it on Blu-ray and I've watched it once at home since I've seen it. So about time I review this, this piece of cinema. I was very much looking forward to this movie. Cause I, my, my review on the first one, I think I may have had some differing opinions that have now changed from back then. Like my opinions definitely are not the same as they were when I originally reviewed that movie. Um, but with that being said, uh, I do like the first one a lot, and it's grown on me since I first seen it. Because um, I think I, I think I had a little bit of a negative thing to say about it when I first saw the movie, which, frankly, was in my opinion just not fair. <laughs> but with this one, going into it, I was expecting more talking, and surprisingly, there's still quite a bit of silence in this movie. Um, there's a lot, there is a lot more talking in this one there was. Uh, there's more action scenes and I was expecting you get to see more of the creatures, the aliens. You get to see, the op movie starts with an opening showing like when it's all started. Uh, which I really thought was really good and it's a cheap way for them to throw John Krasinski in there for a cameo. Um, and this movie actually works very well, and it's definitely a good follow-up sequel. Would I say I enjoyed this more than the second one? Absolutely not. I mean, the first one. Uh, I still think the first one's a good movie, and it's definitely a good theater experience, the first one is. And so is this one, um, especially when it's all silent and the silent scenes and everything. Um, but some of the talking does make you feel like a very different movie. Um, which is not a problem, really, but it definitely feels different. And you learn more about the creatures in this movie, some stuff, like things they can and can't do, which is very interesting. Uh, you wind up meeting a character from their past, uh, from the family's past. Uh, and so a lot of people thought the movie wasn't gonna be able to handle itself without, um, without John Krasinski, his character being in there, but no, the movie still handled very well. There's some definitely some emotional moments. Uh, and you feel the tension in this movie. I don't have much negatives to say about it. Maybe it's that it felt kind of different in some of the talking. And I do enjoy the more quieter moments of the movie. Which obviously is a big part of the series. And apparently there is a new season coming out. No, I'm a new movie. Sorry, I lost the season. New movie that there's plan that John Krasinski will not be directing, which is a little, little upsetting. But regardless, I think this they did a good job. I felt like they had really big shoes to fill with a sequel to this movie, um, and I felt like those shoes were filled for the most part. Um. I feel like this one does have a lot more rewatchability than the first one. Because the first one, like, it's like the 
the silence of it is like what, but like when you re, um, rewatch the first one, you're like, okay, not really much. But with this one, I feel like there's more rewatchability because when I watched it a second time, I was like, I, I still find myself enjoying it. Um, um, but yeah, a lot of stuff that I actually really enjoyed about this um, a movie. It's, 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 a, it's a good movie, and I'd give it a solid 4 out of 5 rating. Um, I think I've seen way worse sequels to a really good movie, and the fact that this movie still kind of works with the whole being silent thing um, is the fact that there's just a lot more noise in this one than, you, than the first one, which isn't a bad thing. Because, like, the movie still works. For what it's giving to us. But it's definitely a different feel throughout. Which I it just isn't a bad thing. You know, I still very much enjoyed this film. Don't get me wrong. Like I enjoyed the heck out of it. But that's really all I can say about this movie. I don't know what else to say really. It's a good follow up. And it has more rewatchability, and I don't have much negatives to say about it. And I enjoyed this much more than I enjoyed the. I enjoyed this one not as much as the first one. Uh, I need to go back and rewatch my review for the first one. I think I said some negative things, um, but my opinion has definitely changed on that movie since then. Um, that's all I got to say for this review, guys. If you guys have seen A Quiet Place Part Two, what did you guys think of it? I'd love to know down in the comment section below. More reviews are coming. I still have to review Black Widow, Space Jam, New Legacy. Uh, so many reviews that still need to go up. And The Suicide Squad. And we got movies I'm going to see next month. That I, I got to go see Free Guys still. I got to go see the Paw Patrol movie. I got to go see uh, Dear Evan Hansen at the end of the month. And the My Little Pony movie. Uh, the New Generation comes out on Netflix. And the uh, Loud House movie just dropped on Netflix recently, so I kind of got a... Uh, and the Arlo the Alligator movie, I heard that was good, and I need to watch that as well. There's so much I need to review. Like, this is like... How is it the year where, like, there is movies? It's taking me forever to review them, but, like, when there was movies that... There was... It's, it, it's still movies from 2020 that I... I still haven't done my top 20... My top 12 2020 movies yet. And we're almost done with 2021. I, I gotta get these reviews going, man. Um, but like I said, what do you guys think of the movie? And that's all I gotta say this to you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully this video reached 10 minutes. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!